a doom number 13 calf. Talk with your Behringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Inc. representative today. Learn more at bi-vetmedica.com slash cattle. Ocala's information station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after 11 o'clock. You know, they say opposites attract, right, Robin? Yes. But I think likes attract. You know what, where my theory comes from? My theory comes from being around town, being part of all of these different um, efforts. You're kidding me. You made me tea? Oh Holy mackerel. <laughs> I must have done something right. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Wow, look at that. What did I do, leave it in there? <laughs> That's probably what I did. So, so any, anyway, so you know, when I go to these things like the, the literacy thing or, or um, hospice stuff or anything, I always see the same people everywhere. And you two ladies I see in so many different things. Uh, and I, I, I've seen Angie for so many times. Uh, Angie Carlosi, is yes. that how you say your last name? And uh, you So this yes. is our first chance to talk to you on the air. And Delsa Darlene, you've been here many times before. Yes. Um, but you both are so involved in so many different things and you're here to talk to us about one of them today mm -hmm. so good morning to both of you how are you how are you we're good thank, thank you good. Thank everybody's you. microphones on right okay um so kid genius mm -hmm. what is kid genius let's start with that kid genius it's a wonderful name by the way thank you. <laughs> well we kid genius the name the way that the name came about is that we believe every child is genius it's just sometimes we just have to find a different way to pull out that genius in them and to recognize I their uniqueness. I believe that too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you know what I, I always had a problem with? And forgive me if this offends anybody, but the gifted program. Because mm -hmm. I was, everybody's gifted. Why are you telling some children that they're gifted? It makes the others feel like they're not. Right, right. We all have a special superpower within. Yes. Ooh, Absolutely. I like that. <laughs> oh, I like that. Absolutely. And that is what Kid Genius is about. So we are an organization, we're a nonprofit organization that helps children of all different abilities. And we help them with alternative therapies, mm -hmm. with assistive devices, inclusive activities, because that's another thing too, is we don't want to keep them segregated. We don't want to have programs where it's just the ones that need special assistance. Right, right, right. Just the ones who are considered neurotypical. They should all be integrated, all having fun together, because at the end of the day, they're kids. And kids should all be able to have fun together. They're going to grow up together, and that's what we need. We need an inclusive society that just recognizes everybody's uniqueness and accepts it and appreciates it for what it is. Good for you. I love that. I love that yeah. philosophy. And the, and the two of you are friends from before. I mean, this is your baby, right? Kid Genius this, is yours. This is our baby for sure. Um, Angie and I, we both met while we were serving um, on another organization and we just had this vision and um Suddenly, next thing you know, it just we just took off with we it. Did. You we did, you know. <laughs> you know, with the other organizations that we've worked with, and you know, as you said, we've been involved in a lot of different organizations in the community. Right. One thing we found lacking is, especially in the special needs community, is you have a group and it'll be specific for cerebral palsy, and you'll have a group and it's specific for autism or specific for Down syndrome. Right. There right. weren't many groups that were in just inclusive of everybody. Right. And right, right. a lot of times in the special needs community, if you have one diagnosis, you have another one or three more, and you know, kind of like in the medical community community where you're dissected and it's like okay go see this person for your arm go see that person for your heart we wanted to change that it's like let's take care of the whole child exactly and and with that whole child we are taking into consideration siblings grandparents parents right because good point realistically yeah. speaking yeah. you can set a child up for therapy but if they go home and the home is broken and the families are not understanding how to deliver that therapy yeah well that then was just wasted money at that point because they're not really able to adapt in that way right. if they're standing in line in the supermarket and their child is having a meltdown but they were not present for occupation or behavioral therapy right. mom and dad doesn't know exactly how to quell that at that moment they don't know how to fix that moment try to help that moment and that's one of the things that we really try to stand upon we really try to push that out there to say it's all about joining together if we join together and we learn together and we grow together we can make a change it's yeah. it's that simple it's, it's an empowerment <laughs> Nice. You know, campaign. It's to empower the families, to empower the child, right, to empower right, right. the community so that we can all basically take care of each other. And one of the things we stand by is that it takes a village. And we truly believe it takes a village. Sure. And we want to sure. see Marion County be that village for these children and for these families. I, I love everything you said. Yeah. <laughs> so how, where is it and how many children do you serve? And, and if somebody's listening and they think, I mean, so far so good, I want to know more. 
Right. Well, we currently we have over 100 families registered with us. Um, we are only in existence for a year, in re, in realistically Is that right? speaking, just wow. a year. I know. It's well, been a that's really a testament year. to your marketing skills or something. I mean, I know the. <laughs> I feel like I've known the expression "kid genius" for longer than that. <laughs> well, that's good to know because that's just something. Realistically, it's coming from our heart. It's not from a skill set at all. It literally is from our heart. Both Andy and I, we do have children on the spectrum. And that's when we wake up and we make decisions, we make them based off of them. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. don't make them simply based off of business or marketing or this would be good. No, we really do take into consideration our children's needs and also knowing where we missed out when we were looking for services and when we needed help. Right, right, what right. walls did we hit? And those are the walls that we're trying to tear down. So if a family wants to actually register, they can actually register online. Of course, registration is free. They would go to www.kidgeniusinc.org. Okay, okay. And they would be able to register from there. We actually then take them in. We do an intake. We see if there's right. services that they qualify for. Because, it, I mean, it's almost like a jungle. And it's overwhelming. You just received this notice that your child has a diagnosis that you're not sure of. You're not sure if it's a disability. You're not sure right. if it's a disorder right, right, right. Um, you're hearing different things you're hearing that it's this spectrum you're hearing that um, you know maybe it's epilepsy maybe the, and you're just sitting there going okay so now what so let's talk about the <laughs> spectrum part because I when I first heard the spectrum part the best way I could understand it was the following way when I was a kid I knew a family on my block that had a baby that had autism. That was the first time I heard the word autistic. And the, the little child literally would sit in, on the floor just rocking all day long. So I figured, wow, that's what autism is. And then I met somebody like, uh, uh, like, like Joe and Patsy's granddaughter, who's, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's even hard to tell that there's anything going on there. So that, that's what... The, that's how I understood what the spectrum means. Um, and, and that very much is. Yeah. It's just, it can go from severe to um, unnoticeable. Do they, do they go up, if that was a scale, do they themselves go up and down that scale? They can, Or absolutely. up, do they never go down? No, they absolutely can. If with early intervention, it's been scientifically proven and um, evidence-based that with early intervention, the symptoms can lessen. They will never not be autistic. Mm -hmm. They will always have some characteristics. They will always have some difficulties in certain areas. However, improvements can be made. The amount of improvements, though, vary greatly per child. You could have some children who do very intensive therapy at young ages, and they can only get so far. Right. You have other right. children who just really flourish with it. So it's, it's very much just and individualized things, you know, something that you'll hear within the autism community is you can line up 100 children with autism. All 100 will be completely different. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very different. And it's interesting, too, because what works for my child may not actually work for your right. child. So I can swear by it and say, this this made a huge difference. And so you go ahead and try it, and it just doesn't work. Oh, wow. And yeah. you, can, you can duplicate it exactly, and yet it still may not work because it is that different. It's just such a huge spectrum. It's hard to really determine. And every child is an individual. Yeah. There are certain characteristics that... A child does have to meet, though, to fall within the spectrum. A lot of them have to do with um, social cues. It is um, a lot of social miscues, just not being able to understand your peers or different things like that. But that in itself does not mean that they can't show emotions, which is a common misconception of children with autism. A lot of people think that because they have the social miscues that they don't love, that they don't show that they're happy. They absolutely do. It's just some show it very differently. You oh, might really? have a child who's jumping up and down, and that's how they show excitement. That's how they show that they're happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas you have another one who does smile or who does give you a hug. Uh -huh. And then you have others who don't hug because they don't like the way that touch feels. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that they don't like to be loved. It's just very different. And so you just kind of have to, we work towards helping families you know, learn those differences within their child and setting them in the right direction right. for what will most likely work for them or what could potentially work for them and help give them the tools to find the right services that they need. And it's good to include the child in on every social oh, function of the family. Yes, yes. It's very important to do so because the more you expose a child, and this is just even neurotypical children, mm -hmm. the more you expose a child to something, the more adept they're going to become, the, the more... Um, 
they'll invite the situation a little bit more. And so that's something also where unfortunately, when a lot of families, they'll get a diagnosis and they feel it's hard. My child, I go outside, you know, and I take him somewhere and then he melts down and it's embarrassing. And so they won't go out anymore or they won't do something anymore. Oh, wow. And so um, that, that must present a challenge in the schools or in the grocery store. Certain, it, it, or, it am can, I right? Exactly. Your faces can. make me think I'm right. Yes, right? It's, yeah. one of the most, it's one of the most challenging. And also, and that's where the deficit of understanding within the community makes it more difficult because a lot of times you'll see that child, you know, tantruming in the grocery store and you think it's a tantrum. You think they're just spoiled and they're not getting what they want, but it could be the UV lights in the grocery store hurts their oh, eyes. Wow. It could be the sound of the carts. It could be the vibration of the cart. There's different sensory stimuli that happens every day that we don't notice because it doesn't affect us. But for a child on the spectrum, it's overwhelming and it actually physically hurts them. And so they act out because that's the only way they can communicate. Some can't tell you this light is hurting my eyes. Right. So they throw themselves on the floor. Uh, let's see. Delza Darlene and Angie Carlozzi are in the studio. They're both co-founders of Kid Genius. And uh, we are talking about autism and Autism Awareness Day, which is coming up April 2nd. And there's a reason to re wear blue. We're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. If you have a question, by the way, during the course of this, you're invited to call. The number is 622-9622. We'll take a little break and be right back. This is WOCA. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating, there's no accident. Clouds will break for some sun later today. There may be a shower in spots this afternoon along the coast. The high 79 along the coast, 84 inland. Tonight, partly cloudy. Again, there may be a shower along the coast with a low of 61 inland, 68 at the coast. But tomorrow, a warm day with times of clouds and sun. There can be a couple of showers during the morning hours along the coast. The high tomorrow, 82 at the coast, 86 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. All right, 18 minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. We are talking uh, with Dar Delsa Darlene and Angie Carlozzi, and they are the founders of Kid Genius, which has been in existence only a year, although it feels like I've heard about this name <laughs> for a long time. Autism Awareness Day is April 2nd. Robin and I have, uh, let's see, we've done a couple of walks for... I think it was New Horizon. Yes. Some some fundraising yeah, things yeah. for them, and and so our we did a song for uh, it was an autistic child who went out into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Walter was the father. Christopher was the son. Yes. They got it was in the ocean all night long, separated, not no flotation devices, being stung by uh, um, jellyfish, jellyfish, and survived, and and were found. And you know how they found it? Do you, I mean, do you want to hear like a story that might sound like a miracle? Uh -huh. The father was wearing a cross, a gold cross, and the Coast Guard saw that. Oh, no, a fisherman saw that glimmer, uh -huh. just that wow. glimmer, and that's how they found him. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. goosebumps. I know. <laughs> and you ladies have a phone call. If you put your headsets on, you'll be able to hear the caller. Just make sure you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Turn. Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling in for waiting during the break. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Uh, uh, probably one of the most illustrious uh, victims of spectrum disorder was uh, uh, Professor Paul Dirac, who uh, uh, taught at Florida State University. Is that right? Uh, and uh, he gave us the, uh, the theory of antimatter. 
Uh, so uh, that's you know, amazing. It, it, yeah, yeah. It's uh, there's all kind of anecdotes about him because he mm. was um, kind of a little quirky. <laughs> yes. But, uh, and and uh, a, and a lot of people brilliant. on the spectrum, they that's usually something something that a lot of people say is that there's a certain quirkiness hmm. um, that is absolutely lovable though with uh, many of the children with autism. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. Have a good day, all. Thank you. Good Thank stuff. You. Yeah. Well, and and I was taught this a long time ago not to think that everybody who's autistic is also automatically a savant. I was mm-hmm. told that we were right. both for that a few. Right, right. Um, that's definitely like I, like we mentioned earlier. It is a spectrum. It is just different for every single person. Um, there's a ton of people. I mean, I, there's a lot of people who say Bill Gates is on the spectrum. So you know, and that's that shows that well, it can and, just be. And it's weird that the word autistic sounds like artistic because I think I mean just with. my limited knowledge of artists. I think we've had some pretty great ones that were mm-hmm. autistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes, there is. There's. I mean, there's just a huge huge amount of successful people and then there's also just normal regular people and one of the things we hear a lot like I get this especially is your son doesn't look like he has autism and it's like well what exactly does autism look like and not one person has ever been able to answer that So it's just, it's interesting, and that's actually what we're trying to do, especially this month with Autism Awareness Month. We're trying to get this information across. We're trying to teach the public, teach Marion County that, you know what, autism doesn't have a look. Well, you're doing a good job. Uh, You really both are. I mean, I'll be the first to admit, I knew very little about it. Uh, I listened to you talk in in your previous visits with us and the couple of folks we've met over at New Horizon and and Barbara and Don Leonard. Don Don is now longer with us, Mm -hmm. now no longer with us. But yeah, that's who I learned from, from people who actually have one-on-one and and from Joe and Patsy with their granddaughter. Thank you. That means a lot because that's actually what we really want to put out there. Um, Like I said, a lot of what we do is based off of what we learn from living in the moment and and living with autism and loving people with autism. And so neither one of us is um, a mental health counselor. Neither one of us is a physician. We are moms. At the end of the day, that's who we are. We are moms. Sure, sure. And that's what we put ourselves as. And that's exactly why we we actively go out there searching for partnerships with professionals, with people who truly understand the other end of it. Because we have one side and they have another. And if we just team up together, that's magic. So I want to, before we end, I want to get back to Kid Genius and, and specifically ask you what can a person do to become involved with Kid Genius or get their child involved? Maybe it's the best, the better question. But tell me about April 2nd. What do we do on April 2nd? Because I want to do this. I don't have anything blue. Uh, really? <laughs> you, it's such a popular color. Do I have anything blue? I don't think I have anything blue. Blue eyes, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all I need to do? Just wake up? Well, the blue will make them pop. <laughs> I would think we have a bunch of blue. Well, April 2nd is National Autism Awareness Day, and even though it's National Autism Awareness Day, um, we still actually had a proclamation from Mayor Kent Quinn okay. proclaiming Autism Awareness Day as April 2nd in Ocala. And, in Mary- and so he's actually asked everyone in Ocala on Kid Genius' behalf to wear blue on April 2nd. Mm-hmm. And we're asking everyone who does wear blue in support of Autism Awareness to send us a picture. Send it on Facebook. Send it via the website to our email. We're going to, we want to flood the scene Break the internet with blue. <laughs> any, any, any shade of blue? Any shade preferable? Of blue. Any shade? Any shade of, any blue. Shade of blue. How many shades are there? Don't say 50. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 35. I have no idea. <laughs> the WOCA logo is blue. We WOCA logo. Blue. Our so door is blue. Get them make, make a paper dress or something out of the WOCA oh, logo. No. Nice. See, she's <laughs> artistic. Yeah. She's artistic. Yeah. Go for yes. it. Go yeah. for it. Well, we definitely want to get as many people supporting the cause because, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the families do feel isolated. A lot of them do feel alone. They're constantly being sent out to Gainesville for services or to Orlando. And here in town, they're like, there's nothing here for us. And could and I ask you to repeat what that. you said during the break? During the break, you told us about some agencies that you've teamed up with, I think. Yes. And, and one of them is going to help bring some Absolutely. some education here so that people mm-hmm. don't have to drive to gains. We'll just repeat what it you said. It is going to help bridge the gap in services here in Marion Exactly. County. We have been able um, the, goal, the goal all along was to bring services here to Marion County and just because in this little amount of time we've really pushed it out there we have partnered up with the Thompson Center for Autism and Neurodevelopmental Disorders at the University of Missouri. Of all places. How of did that all happen? places. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and what makes them special is they have something called Project 
ECHO. And it's for, um, it's called the ECHO for Autism. And basically the specialists there, these are world known specialists, will be actually training our local physicians as to how to diagnose, how to treat, and even perform case studies so that way our local doctors, our local mental health professionals, anyone who actually comes in contact with our children here in Marion County, yeah, in yeah. Ocala, is able to be able to recognize autism and to help the families instead of driving to Gainesville, instead of driving to Orlando. Now, it doesn't make them a specialist, but at the end of the day, what we're finding is many of our children do not need the specialist. They just need our local physicians to truly understand how to diagnose it the correct way, and that's what they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And while they won't be technically specialists in the field, the evidence that has shown from these programs with the ECHO program has shown that the treatment that they receive at the small local practitioners is the same that they receive at the training college level university practices okay. so mm -hmm. the the same level of care that they would receive if they were seeing the specialist because they're sharing the same information and because they are able to work together they can deliver that same level of care here at a local level so what is the treatment and once autism is diagnosed um, I mean, is there different medicines that the children are taking? What, it's, not, it's not typically medicine. Okay. It's, when medicine is diagnosed, it's typically for um, a different uh, symptom within the spectrum, whether it's anxiety or mood disorder or something along that oh, nature, okay. not specifically okay. autism itself. There's no medicine for autism. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't I, think so. No. Okay. And again, because it is such a, a spectrum disorder, as we keep saying, the treatments vary. A lot of them are naturally based, which is fantastic. It's therapies, it's occupational therapy, it's play therapy, it's massage therapy, it's um, speech therapy, physical therapy. There's a lot of different just therapies that the parents can be taught as well to do at home right. that mm -hmm. helps to regulate their system because at the end of the day, autism is a neurological disorder. And so it's basically having, it's a miscommunication with their body and the world. And so we have to help them regulate their body to be able to accept the excess stimuli around them. Do you, do you ever have this problem where, where somebody, I mean, you know what you're talking about, but let's say somebody, a, a new mom, a new dad that has a child with autism, they, they, they're going on the internet and they find this miracle cure and they send three hundred dollars to this guy who sends them a bottle of nothing. Mm -hmm. does, does that happen a lot? Unfortunately, yeah, I does. figured it does. Often. And, um, Parents, parents sometimes are desperate. Yeah. They're desperate. They, they're looking for help, um, and they need help, and there's no cure, and there's a lot of different alternatives. There's also different things that, oh, well, this works, and like I said, what works for one may not work for the other. And that's why we this, this moment, the partnering with Project ECHO and, and teaching our local that's a medical wonderful community. Thing. Yeah. So that way everybody's on the same page is what's going to actually assist these parents, the parents who are desperate looking for things, the parents who, you know what, they can't make it to Gainesville. They just can't. I love Gainesville, but not everybody has oh, the ability Oh, and you were telling me it's like $600 in, in travel expenses, what, <laughs> yeah, a, a seven, month? I myself used to spend $700 a month in just a gas. Month. I have lost oh, time yes. at work or if the situation myself, oh my, my son and my daughter when my son was diagnosed, my daughter was only, um, he was diagnosed at two and a half. And so she was only one at the time. Right. And so to lug my infant daughter around to all of right. his appointments when he had an appointment literally every day of the week was also very difficult. So, you know, especially traveling, traveling outside of Marion County to get these services and then having to find someone to stay with her because she can't be there for four hours while he's having what he needed done. Yeah, That's another yeah. issue that comes across. So being able to have these services here is just going to so. You know, help financially, help emotionally, help the families just all the way around. Well, I hope you drive through Ocala on the 2nd of April and, and see everybody wearing blue. Yes. That'd and, be, and I, That'd I, be a dream come true. And if yes. they ask, if they, somebody asks me why are you wearing blue, I'm, I'm going to say it's to support what what Kid Genius is doing. <laughs> what are they doing? You have to call them. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. We, I don't know how to articulate are, it. We, we have a full month, and if they want to find out more information, they can actually search for us on Facebook. Uh -huh. We do have a Facebook page, and on there, all the different events, like we have Ink for Autism coming up, and we have the Autism Parent Summit coming up as well, um, all during the month of April. Everything that we're doing is all based on awareness. We're, we're not focusing on fundraising activities, because this is how important this is to us right now. It's more more important to get the info out well, there so they can see Facebook and they can go to the website. 
Robin, we're in the presence of two <laughs> ladies who are really making a difference. Yes, we are. A real difference. God bless you. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Kidgenius.org, is that the right website? Kidgenius Inc. Kidgenius Inc. Kid Inc. Inc. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, your phone number real quick? Uh, 352-533-5027. Okay. Uh, Delsa? Darlene, yes. good to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Uh, and Angie Carlosi, thank you for coming on the air with us. I see you all the time coming into those <laughs> meetings you do. I see you all the time. Well, thank thank you, ladies. Uh, Kid yeah. Genius, remember, wear blue on April 2nd. I got to go buy something blue. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, ladies. Oh, thank all right, you. we'll be right back. Fun with Joe. Lead guitar parts from Excellent. rock songs. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. More details coming out on the crash of a passenger plane in the French Alps. The head of German Wings says the Airbus went into an eight